welcome back to my channel. So um, the elections in Nigeria is officially over. And in some states, the winners have been announced for that, for that of the governorship election. Why in some other states, the winners are yet to be announced, okay? So we all saw all that happened on that day. The election misconduct, the violence, the killing... A lot happened on that day. So the US and the UK has officially condemned the violence, the election misconduct, everything that happened on that day. And they've also said that they'll be placing those who were involved in visa ban. So they took to their official page to um, announce this. So let me read out what they said. The US mission in Nigeria. The United States is troubled by disturbing acts of violent voter intimidation and suppression that took place during those polls in Lagos, Kano, and other states. Members of the U.S. diplomatic mission observed the elections in, in Lagos and elsewhere and witnessed some of these incidents firsthand. The use of, the use of ethnically charged rhetoric before, during, and after the gubernatorial election in Lagos was particularly consigning. We condemn all Nigerian political actors, religious and community leaders, youth and the citizens who have chosen to reject and speak out against such violence and inflammatory language. Affirming Nigerians' commitment to and respect for the diplomatic process. We call on Nigerian authorities to hold accountable and bring to justice any individuals found to have ordered or carried out efforts to intimidate voters and suppress voting during the election process. The United States likewise will consider avail all available actions, including additional visa restriction on individuals believed to to be responsible for or complicit in undermining the electro a dem democratic process in Nigeria. Following the February 25th national elections, the United States joined other international observers in urging the in in urging INEC to improve voting processes and technical and technical elements that experience flaws in the in that voting round. The March 18 elections appear to have had significant operational improvement as police stations generally opened on time and most results were visible on an electronic viewing platform in a timely manner. The United States renews its call for any challenges to election results to go through established illegal processes, which must not be interfered with. We further call for Nigerian people to work together as they participate in and continue to strengthen the country's vibrant democracy. You guys, so this is what the uh, United States have said. And also, likewise, uh, likewise the UK, they've also, said they, they've also said that they are going to place a visa ban on those who are found guilty. See, I'm not sure how far these people are going to go about with this uh, threat. I'm not sure. It might be as usual they will sweep it under the carpet those people who are found guilty would not be punished that is just my fear but hopefully let me believe that something will be done this time around because you guys a lot has happened at least the uh european european union has has um reported that at least 21 persons died during this election so that is just it and you guys <laughs> this APC government, I just want to run small. These APC governments are really funny. So official part that is Bolat Ahmed uh, Tinubu has come out to say that since the elections are over, that it's time for the country to start healing. And I'm asking, how are we going to heal when justice are not served? Healing from what? Healing from the fact that people who came out to perform that civil uh, rights where we are being intimidated, we are being chased by thugs that you sent on them, some we are being killed, some some are, some we are, we are badly injured and are still battling for their lives in different hospitals in the country. And you come out to, and he didn't even come out to condemn the act. Why would he even condemn the act when he's the one that 
that that that that, that gave the instruction that that, that such, such things should be carried out. He came out to say the country should start healing. Healing from what exactly, Tinubu? Healing from the fact that you you use ethnicity to divide the people, just simple because you and your party want to remain in power. You rig the election in a broad daylight. The rigging was so it was so obvious that it cannot be denied. And my joy of this whole thing is that P2B and the Labour Party have filed a petition against him, and I, which I'm a very strong one at that. I'm not sure he's going to come out. <laughs> He's gonna come out strong. And recently, it has been, yesterday it was reported that he was flown out of the country to France for medical checkup, for medical treatment. And that got a lot of Nigerians wondering. You've not won a zoomed position. You've not won. You've not even been declared the president. You're already traveling out for a medical, uh, for medical treatment. And this is what the most Nigerians, most meaningful Nigerians have been trying to avoid. You all know what happened during the time of uh, Buhari, how he was traveling mostly from the beginning of the time he was elected as the president, how he traveled throughout the, his, his tenure, going for medical checkup. And you're the same thing, but you said you built Lagos, you, you did this, you did that. What stops you from using the hospitals in, the, in Lagos State? Why traveling out of the country to get medical assistance? And you guys, and this ex traveling is not even, it's not even like they are going to pay with their money. They are going to pay with taxpayers' money. And this is what a lot of us, a lot of Nigerians have been crying, are crying against. This is what a lot of them have been, you know, saying that this man is not fit. I don't know why he keeps imposing himself on people. I don't know why he, he, he's so desperate, despite all the atrocities. That have been committed in the past despite he knows that he's not clean and he's coming out to, to to rule a country he knows that he has an impending case with the united states and he's coming out to rule a country i wonder what kind of legacy you're going to leave behind i wonder what what you're going to be telling the people you are going to be ruling when you have an impending case in, in in the united states impending drug case in the united states anyways guys let me know your thoughts on regarding this uh uk and us uh, visa ban on these individuals let me know because I'm, I'm really troubled. I'm not sure this band is going to be effective. But still, let me just know um, your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. Till then, remain blessed.